All right, let's back up here a little bit and talk about just doing some basic photo adjustment just to get a better photo. Um, I've opened a basic photo of my daughter because you guys don't want to sit and look at a picture of me. But you can open any picture you want. Just, you know, if you can't, don't have a picture that you want to play with, then just go find some random picture of some random celebrity off the internet and pull it in just so you have something to play with. Okay, the first thing you should always do is make a duplicate of the image. So you go to image, lay, go to layer, and do duplicate layer and make a background copy. Just so that anything that you change doesn't end up being permanent to what you've done. Okay, so you can always have a, you know, something, you get, you get it too messed up, you got something to go back to to start over with. Okay, history only goes back so far. You don't have unlimited undos like you do in Illustrator. All right, then we're going to go up to Image, and there's a lot of different adjustments available underneath the Adjustment uh, tab here. Okay, brightness, contrast, levels, curves, exposure, vibrance, hue, saturation. We're going to go through and talk about basically um, these top ones up in here. Okay, brightness and contrast is just like it sounds. Makes it darker, makes it brighter. Okay, again, don't ever change anything in here too much. You should always make sure you have your preview changed. Contrast is going to make your darks dark, darker, your lights lighter. Okay, reducing contrast gives you more of a gray tone up in the contrast, you can see. So again, play slightly, okay? Adjustments, levels, curves. Let's go down. Uh, let's go down and talk about uh, color balance next. We did color balance when we did the frog and the alligator together. Basic same thing. It makes even more red or less red. So in this case, the photo's a little too red. So by reducing the red a little bit, reducing the magenta a little bit, we'll probably give you more natural color. Upping the yellow a little bit, I think, might help a little bit, too. Okay, so I reduced the red quite a bit, because there's a lot of red in the image. I reduced the magenta a little bit. That's a little bit green now, so I might pump that yellow back up slightly. There we go. That looks pretty good. Okay. Image adjustments. Hue saturation. Okay. The hue says, okay, what kind of color range is it going to go be into? So you really don't want to play with the hue a whole lot. Okay. Saturation means more color, less color. All the way down to black and white, all the way up to way oversaturated. Again, slight adjustments help a lot. All the way down to black, all the way up to white. Slight adjustments help a lot. Okay. So we did vibrance, we did hue saturation, we did we didn't do vibrance. Okay, vibrance basically um, improves or takes away from the strength of the color. Okay, so again, slight adjustments. Saturation, we already saw saturation basically does the same thing here. So really, in this one, just kind of leave saturation alone. Okay, now, levels, curves, and exposure. Okay, plus minus. This one is really not one you want to mess with too much. I normally don't even play with exposure at all. But if you have an overexposed or underexposed picture, it can help a little bit. Okay. So it's always good to go and play with the sliders a little bit just to see kind of what how they affect things. Adjustments, levels. 
Now this can be kind of confusing, but basically you've got, it shows you these are your darks over here, these are your lights over here, these are your midtones. Okay, so this is going to up your lights. This is going to up your darks. And this is going to play with your midtone range. Okay, so basically, you see right here my darks, there's nothing there, right there. So, or there might be just a, just a slight bottom out. It's always good to to kind of make sure that your sliders at least over where the colors start, where the really up and down really gets going. Okay. Curves. There's another one that can be really confusing. And I suggest if you really want to play with curves, you go and watch some videos on what curves can do. But they really just kind of play with, again, the um, levels, but a little bit different way. Okay, so you can see now my original image, my fixed image, original image. See how it's, it's a little bit too red, too pink. Um, and this one, I've got a much more natural looking color. Okay, so Photoshop, you know, you can, I mean, it's, it's kind of like, uh, if, you, if you fix your images, if I use Photoshop for is correcting your photos, it's kind of like um, using, stitch, you know, going to the hospital for a stubbed toe. It's kind of like overdoing it. That's not my best analogy, but it's the only one you're going to get. Okay, so... Take an image and be sure you're submitting both the original when you turn them in. Submit the, what the original looks like. So I'd submit this one. And then what my adjustment looks like. This one. Okay. We're going to do this twice. We're going to do it two different ways. This one is through image adjustments. Just going straight into adjustment. And I'm going to show you another way to do it in the next video.